Hello everyone, welcome to Mark ERP video in which today you will learn how you can generate sale return entry in Mark software. As we already know that in our daily life, whatever goods or stock are sold, it is a normal thing if any goods or stock is returned. And this can happen due to many reasons such as the purchased stock is not correct, means its quality is not good or items have expired, items are broken, there are some items of whose sale in the market is negligible and shopkeepers do not require that stock anymore, etc. So with the help of this feature of Mark ERP, you can generate the entry of all the returned items or goods and can also maintain their record easily. Now let's come and see how you can generate the entry of sale return in Mark software. In order to generate the entry of sale return, we will go to the transactions menu then to sale return and then we will click on the credit note option. Then from the ledgers window, we will select the ledger of your party for whom you are generating the entry of sale return. After this, you will mention the party number and then mention the date of credit note here. That is on which date you want to create the credit note. Then this window of bill details will open in which on the right side the list of the number of generated bills of this particular party will be shown. Then here some fields are given to you in which first is batch selection field. In this drop down three options will be shown to you that is manual, select sold batch and open history. Manual, if you are generating the return entry of those items and you want to manually feed the batch of those items or want to select it then you will set this field to manual. Select sold batch. If you want that the software should give you the permission of selecting the batch of those items which you have sold to these parties then you can set this field to select sold batch. Open history. If you set this field to open history then when you will select any item or product sold to this party then the software will show you the history of that item that is on which dates you have sold these items to this party. So for now we will take the batch selection as manual. After this is return of bills in which three options are shown to you bill by bill, multiple and separate. Means if you want to create the sale return entry against a particular bill then you will set this field to bill by bill. If you want to adjust the multiple items of multiple bills in one credit note then in this condition you will select this field to multiple and if you want to create separate credit notes for multiple bills then you will select this field to separate. For example like if you take the batch selection as open history and in return of bills select multiple. So from the multiple bills you will keep on selecting those items of which return needs to be created and the software will adjust them against a single credit note. And in the case of separate, the software will adjust their credit note for multiple items received against different bills. So for now, we take the return of bills as bill by bill. After this is return of bill. Here you will mention that bill number against which you want to create the credit note entry against last sale bill. Then you can press down arrow key so that the software will pick the auto generated last sale bill number, bill date and bill amount. After this, you will mention the reason of sale return here which is mandatory and must be filled. And then by pressing enter, we will come to the calculation type field. Generally, this field is selected by default but if you want then from the drop down of calculation type, you can select the calculation type as per your requirement. We will remain it as default and press enter. So the items of that bill number will be shown to you which we have mentioned. Now you will select those items by pressing the spacebar key of which you want to create the sale return and then press enter key. In this way, the items will get loaded in the bill. Now by pressing the control W key, you will simply save the bill. So you will see that the software has opened the adjustment detail window along with saving the sale return entry in which all the details like bill number, bill date, what was the old amount and how many rupees of debit note has been adjusted and what is the new amount will be shown to you. You will simply click on yes and will save the entry. After this a window of bill adjustment will open in which firstly from the drop down of type field 
you will select the adjustment reference and will press enter then the software will ask you that against which invoice you want to adjust the sale return or credit note entry so by pressing the space bar key you will select the invoice from the shown invoices as per your requirement and then press enter so the sale return entry will get generated against the selected invoice so friends in this way you can generate the sale return entry in margi rp software thanks for watching